Hello, grade 7. Um, today's lesson is unit 34, which is patience or sabr. Um, in this lesson, we will learn the definition of patience or sabr in Arabic. يقول الله تعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا اصبروا وصابروا ورابطوا واتقوا الله لعلكم تفلحون Oh, you who believe, endure with patience I would do all others in patient endurance Be ready and observe your duty to Allah so that you may be successful من سورة آل عمران um, Anas ibn Malik narrated that the Prophet said Patience ought to be exercised at first of grief. This means that true patience for which Allah rewards is that which is exercised on the occasion of the sharpness or vehemence when a misfortune befalls us. معنى هذا الكلام إنه الصبر الذي سوف نؤجر عليه وربنا راح يعطينا أجر عليه هو الصبر في وقت المصائب. Definition of sabr or patience. Sabr is an Arabic word which comes from a root meaning to detain, refrain, restrain, and stop. Patience means to prevent oneself from despairing and panicking, stopping one's tongue from complaining and one's hand from striking one's face and tearing one's clothes in times of grief. Patience is a positive psychological attitude by virtue of which we refrain from doing what is not good. أي أن الصبر هي طريقة نفسية إيجابية معناها إنه منع أنفسنا عن فعل أي شيء غير جيد. The person who has patience is the one who has trained himself to handle difficulties successfully. Patience means to calmly accept the trials Allah sends without complaining about his decree. Patience means to seek Allah's help and to complain to none but to Allah alone. أي أن الصبر هو السعي لمساعدة الله لنا وعدم التذمر إلا لله. Complaining to Allah doesn't contradict patience. أي أن التذمر والشكوى لله لا يتعارض مع الصبر. Prophet Yaqub complained of his grief and anguish to Allah alone. أي هنالك مثال مشهور سيدنا يعقوب عليه السلام شكى أمره لربه. However, complaining to people هون النقطة المهمة التذمر والشكوى للناس. Either directly or indirectly is contrary to patience and to the novel teachings of Islam in this regard. أي الشكوى لله جائزة ولا تتعارض مع الصبر مع مفهوم الصبر لكن الشكوى للناس والتذمر للناس يتعارض مع مفهوم الصبر وهنالك مقولة مشهورة الشكوى لغير الله مذلة. Patience has many other names according to the situation. هون موجود العديد من أسماء الصبر أو بناء على الموقف ممكن نسمي حالة الصبر التي نكون فيها. If patience has to do with controlling one's passions, it may, it may be called honor. If it involves controlling one's stomach, it may be called self-control. If it involves keeping quiet about what is not fit to disclose, it may be called discursion. If it involves controlling one's anger, then it may be called restraint. If it involves refraining from haste, it may be called gracefulness. If it involves refraining from running away, it may be called courage. If it involves refraining from uh, taking revenge, it may be called forgiveness. If it involves refraining from being tight-fisted, a bakhil, then it may be called generosity. And now we came to the three kinds of patience, or the kinds of patience. Anwa' al-sabr. Yujad thalath anwa' al-sabr. 
The first, patience for doing righteous deeds. الصبر على الأعمال الحسنة اللي بنقوم فيها. This is the kind of patience that is exercised in the course of carrying out Allah's commandments, even though they may look hard to do at times. For example, performing all the obligatory prayers on time under all circumstances and bearing patiently while fasting during the month of Ramadan. The second type of patience is patience for avoiding evil deeds. أي الصبر على فعل المعاصي وتجنب فعل المعاصي. This is the kind of patience that that is exercised in the course of avoiding all words and deeds that Allah doesn't like, even though we may like to say or do them. Examples of this, including stealing people's property, السرقة, backbiting them, أي الغيبة والنميمة. Taking drugs and telling lies, المخدرات والكذب. The third type of patience is patience for Allah's decrees. أي الصبر على قضاء الله. This is the kind of patience that is exercised while undergoing the effects of His decrees, which cause you to experience all kinds of hardships and adversities. Such as losing a beloved one, and the man خسر شخص عزيز على قلوبنا, falling sick, المرض, and failing an exam, والرسوب في امتحان. Now we finished our lesson for today, and inshallah in the next lesson we will discuss the rest of this unit. We still have another class in this unit, and then in the third class we will have revision for our midterm exam.